gaffer into the playoffs and, and in some style as well. I, I imagine you're delighted with today's performance. I think being a, a year in charge now and uh, where we started this journey to climb above that line today in the manner and the performance and the way the lads conducted themselves was, was amazing. We talked coming into this match, obviously there could be pressure on the players knowing that they had the opportunity to get into that playoffs, but a, a 5-0 win in the performance shows that they weren't feeling the pressure out there today. I was aware of the pressure, certainly all week we've been talking about getting into the playoffs and sometimes that pressure can affect your decision making. There's been a, a level of criticism, with the certainly with the front three, they're not scoring enough goals, but certainly the game at Colchester that we played, we got in the final third 30 times, but unfortunately we didn't score. Today was a different uh, scenario and uh, every opportunity that we had, uh, the players looked very dangerous. What was it that was different in that final third? I think they expressed themselves, I think they were confident. I think they've shown a, a, an unbelievable desire to score, which is not easy. And uh, the hardest thing to do in football is score, but to score five um, is a fantastic achievement. Having said that, it's only a game. And uh, 28 points to the bottom two on 18 points is a good gap to have. Obviously, you've spoken a lot about getting into those playoffs, and you've done that this afternoon. I imagine now the focus will switch on making sure you stay there now. We have to stay there and uh, we have to make sure the players don't become um, too complacent, certainly going into the game on Tuesday. I also have to be aware as well what the players have achieved and they deserve to take a lot of credit because you know, with the, with the resources that we're working with to be three points behind Luton and a club, big, big club like Portsmouth, these players are giving everything that they could possibly give to this football club. I thank the supporters who turned up today and uh, hopefully they enjoyed a, a good entertaining day. And uh, if you're a Yeovil Town supporter, you should be proud tonight. Equal a bit of history as well. That's the first time Yeovil have won by five goals in the Football League since 2004. I imagine that's a nice little added bonus tonight as well. It is an added bonus and I don't think it was because of the way Crawley performed. I think... Some of our performances have merited a scoreline like that. Unfortunately, it's not happened, but every week these players are, you know, are growing stronger, they're, they're growing more belief and uh, they're good players with good futures. There's two more games coming up at Hewish Park and I imagine after the, the game today you'll be hoping that the fans come in their numbers to, to support the team in those games. Always. I think uh, it's took me a long time to try and uh, turn the mentality around, but I think the, the supporters can have a little bit more belief now than, uh, than what they've had. I've got to do that because I'm a manager and I've got to win games. Supporters don't necessarily have to believe as much as what I'm trying to get them to believe. But I think if we get that and the supporters generate a little bit of noise um, like they did today, it just helps uh, the whole of the football club. And uh, it's my job to make this football club successful. And, uh, I have to use every uh, percent that I can use and uh, that's why I ask the supporters to get behind the players today and I thank them.